but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll read you a Swedenborg quote from my book. And this, I think, is the most important, the most important paragraph in this book. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's 185. All right, this is the first edition of this book, and this is a later mm -hmm. edition with more stories. Mm -hmm. I wrote this book many, many years ago, and it was a tremendous success. Mm -hmm. People would find the book and buy yeah. 10 or 12 copies and give it to their friends, and they would buy 10 or 12 copies mm -hmm. and created this whole angel. Right, uh, that was the wave. Yes, wave. Yes, of yes, 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 you're right. Interest. So you were see what you started it? So I started. Oh my goodness. Or it actually got started. Yeah. The yeah. angels started. And then the speed was just picked up on it mm -hmm. and wrote Angels in Action and things like that. That's right. That's right. 200 books a year were being printed on angels. And yeah. Television shows. Yeah. Films. But anyway, I wanted to read you this from Swedenborg. And I don't have to introduce Swedenborg because you all know who he is. And that's why really I have this little thing about who he was. Swedenborg's angels stayed with him always, whispering and singing to him. He writes of their communicating spiritually by thoughts flashing into his mind. And in one of these instructions, he learned that angels look on all events as proceeding from God, not as men or evil spirits do, who want everything to come out their way, and when it doesn't give way to doubt or even deny the existence of God, but rather in an outpouring of faith. His angels repeated again and again that we poor beings should not worry about the future, but only trust to providence. For providence will bring all things that we desire, not necessarily while we desire them, and now here are his quotes, but yet, if it be for their good, they obtain them afterward when not thinking of them. And I have had so many experiences of this where I suddenly remember, oh, I remember wanting this, and I'd completely forgotten that I'd longed for it <laughs> two and a half years ago, and now here it comes when I'm not thinking about it at all. And I can think through my life, and I guess everybody here, that everything I've ever wanted has been given to me, not necessarily on my time, and also not necessarily in the form I wanted it to come in. But it's always, always been given. Mm -hmm. 